lists are one of the most commonly used functions in VTiger. What you see here is a list of organizations and we have a few columns. We can sort by those columns, we can search by them as well. In this video we'll cover creating the list and managing the list. So first on the left side we have lists and by clicking the plus sign we can create a new list. As we do that we're able to put in the list name for this purpose I'll just call it demo and within the list you can select the columns that will be displayed. So in this case I would like to include secondary phone, email and say for example industry but I don't really need the billing city, country or the assigned to. And now next step is you can specify what records to display. In most cases you will have a condition that makes sense to your business but in this case I will say I just want to see all the organizations that are equal to organization which is basically assigned to me. Um, next if we scroll down we have ability to share the list. We can share with users or groups as well as the roles and roles and subordinates. In this case I want to make this filter available to all and I'll select all users. Once I hit save the list is then created and it will show up on the left side under my lists. If someone else would have created the list and shared with all the users or me I would see it under the shared list. So these are the lists that you can switch between and see the information within. So the demo list that I just created has columns that we selected that are secondary, phone and email as well as the industry. Um, going back to the list section, um, by clicking on this arrow you can go back and edit the list which will allow you to change the columns, condition and the sharing access as well you can delete, you can duplicate a new list if you're just changing the conditions it's very useful just to be able to duplicate it. You can also set it as a default for yourself. Every time you would go into organization list it would show up as a default list and you would see those columns and the condition applied. So that's it for the lists.